New Yorkese reagisce a due pizze a Brooklyn. What's up? What's up? Were you waiting for me? I'm waiting for you. Ah, hello. Hey guys, bentornati nel canale di Cari Lady Boss per contenuti su New York, Stati Uniti, donne imprenditrici, italiani immigrati e tantissimo altro. Iscrivetevi al canale cliccando il pulsante qua sotto e attivate la campanella per ricevere le notifiche in tempo reale. Se non l'avete ancora fatto iscrivetevi anche al canale Instagram Cari Lady Boss. Oggi sono con un ospite speciale, è un mio amico vlogger. John e lo porteremo a mangiare due pizzerie italiane una più vintage una più uh, old school John parla inglese quindi comunicheremo con lui in inglese e adesso voglio sapere da lui quanto è emozionato e cosa si aspetta da queste due pizzerie già sa la domanda Chiara, I am super excited for both of these spots I mean the first one is a New York City classic it's a legendary spot I think everyone's gonna love it and the second place traditional Neapolitan I mean if you say it's good you're Italian I think it's gonna be amazing So I'm equally excited for both spots. I'm so excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do you want to show the first spot? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Na 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 Tutum tutum na 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 na. Defara. Where are we? Midwood, Brooklyn. Far Brooklyn. Entriamo perché ci stanno aspettando. Let's go. Hi. Margaret here. È la figlia di Dom. Siamo qua nel back. John. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Situata su Avenue J a Midwood, di Fara Pizza ha una storia lunga 55 anni, quando Dom, Domenico De Marco, casertano immigrato a New York nel 1959, ha deciso di aprire questa pizzeria con il suo socio Farina, che ha poi ceduto il business a Dom. Dall'unione dei due cognomi nasce Di Fara, un posto sperduto tra i quartieri di Brooklyn. Prima della pandemia la fila era incredibile, le persone aspettavano anche ore per un trancio di pizza da Di Fara. Questo posto è un'istituzione, non è la classica pizzeria pizzeria italiana che vi immaginate. Oggi Dom non è potuto essere con noi purtroppo, ma tornerò per intervistarlo. Vi lascio qua sopra la playlist a tutti gli altri video sul cibo che ho fatto a New York. So yeah, could you tell us about the ingredients, maybe even as you put them on? Well, this is ricotta. It goes better on white pasta. It's going to get mixed with a, a little moisture and mozzarella. Okay. Sauce on that side. Parmesan. I would put a little more on the white side, you know. It's going to be very cheesy. Mm. White gets, gets ricotta. Morning. Oh. Ecco però una sua foto autografata per me per scusarsi. What was the biggest challenge for you guys? The biggest challenge was how the neighbor changed and that was when he was in his most depressed place because he didn't want to ever leave here. So that to him was the biggest thing that he had to overcome yeah. because he had to pay the rent, he had to do all these things. Everybody left. Things were having problems here. And he always made great pizza even before he started yeah. developing the better recipe. He was known to always make great pizza, but when the day would change, he didn't know what to do. If you bake it, they will come in a way is, is, a, is a term. Who was here before the Orthodox? In this, this neighborhood? neighborhood? It, was, it was very mixed. Oh, it, it, was, mixed. it was Jewish, but it was not as Orthodox. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was Jewish, it was Polish, it was Italian. The only store on every tree that still remains from those days is the florist across the street. It's a Greek florist. They opened up here two years earlier than us. So okay. that's the oldest store on every day and we're the second oldest. Okay. Every other store on every day has changed to become a different store. But Thank you, Dom. You're welcome. Buon appetito! Buon appetito! You ready? I am I'm ready. So are we gonna do this at the same time? Yes. Okay. Do you think so? I think I think that's the way this is meant to be done, guys. Look at this. Like, beautiful, thin crust with a basil on top. This is this is a work pizza. of our pizza. All right. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness, guys. That first bite, like the initial reaction to me was the olive oil and the basil, that combination. That was one of the most memorable first bites of pizza I've ever had in New York City. It was unbelievably good. What do you think? I can't stop eating. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. I really like the taste of the basil. I love the crunchiness. I usually like the very thin pizza, so this is perfect for me. Oh, same here. And you know what I find interesting is that I've seen a lot of other pizza places in New York adding basil to their pies. And I was asking Dom Jr. about that, and he agrees it could be a little inspiration from the Faras. And you said it was also something that's very Italian, right? Mm -hmm. We usually don't cut the basil. They put basil in the middle. Mm -hmm. Again, for me, the thing that keeps standing out is just the amount of olive oil they use. I don't 
don't know if I've ever been to a place that used this much olive oil on pizza. That is really standing out to me. Because they put it on before, and they put it on after it comes out as well. Truly amazing pizza. I know a lot of people that come through these doors say that. Definitely a place you need to try. Buonissima. Buonissima. Buonissima? Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> Buonissima. Because pizza is feminine. Feminine. Dom ha detto che la mozzarella viene da Caserta. Mi piace molto il fatto che è croccante, che c'è il basilico. John, if you don't understand, let me know. Cosa pensi di questa pizza? Ti sembra italiana? Non entiendo. <laughs> non capisco. Non capisco. Ok. What do you think about this pizza? Have you been to Italy before? I've been to Italy. You've been to Italy. I How would you compare this to other pizzas you had or like Italian, real Italian pizza you had? You know what I would say? I would say the freshness of the ingredients here really stands out to me versus a lot of other places in New York City. I mean, the fresh olive oil, the tomato sauce, the, the buffalo mozzarella imported from the town that Dom grew up in. It's just such a, a good combination of ingredients. And that's always something that I appreciated about like true Neapolitan pizza, how simple it is, but more importantly, how fresh those ingredients are. And when you combine it, this is honestly something that I've never had in New York City before. Like there's something unique about this pie. I can't put my finger on it, but that would make me want to come back here again and again. It is truly a unique pie for me. Allora, Dom ci ha portato anche gli square, le pizza square, che sono queste, che io adoro, no? Un po' alla romana. Ce ne ha portate tre, ma noi siamo quasi pieni, quindi ne mangiamo una sola e una pizza. Io sono sempre per la square, adoro. Mi piace molto di più perché è croccante, ha più sapore di pizza secondo me. All right, John, how's your belly? I think I've got room for at least two more slices of pizza. I mean, the forest is going to be tough to top, but I'm really excited to try traditional Neapolitan pizza with you as well. Uh, gli ho chiesto come va il suo stomaco perché abbiamo mangiato un po', ci abbiamo food babies. Food babies. Eh, let's go to the next spot. Sei pronto? Pronto. Andiamo. Andiamo. See you there. See you there. Ciao. Ciao. Verso il secondo posto ho lasciato John e Chip che prendono la metro, io sono in bici. Ci vediamo alla prossima pizzeria. Per questo video dove un new yorkese reagisce a due pizze italiane a Brooklyn. John, siamo arrivati al secondo posto, seconda pizza di Brooklyn. Seconda pizza di Brooklyn. Let's Bravo! Bravo! Sotto casa. That's monkey. Yeah, Luca! Hey, hey, ciao! I love his shirt. Basil is not an option, it's an ingredient. We were just saying this at Defara's, how that was like the secret ingredient was the basil on top, so I'm pumped. This is another one. What is that? <laughs> Fork and knife, respect the purpose. <laughs> I get it too. This is the utensil of Defara. Have you seen that it's pretty raw? Lo chef Luca Arrigo. Ciao. Che ci fa vedere come fa questa pizza napoletana. Questa pizza napoletana fatta da un milanese. Pizza napoletana fatta da un milanese. Quindi iniziate a state stare a molto calmi. Su, a commentare subito. Iniziate a commentare. State molto calmi. State calmi. La nostra segretissima salsa di pomodoro. Segretissima. Addirittura pomodori pelati passati al pasta verdure con aggiunta di sale. Sembra ottimo. Segretissima. Basilico. Look what I told you before. Basil is not an option. What is it? No, basil, wait. basil is, is an ingredient, is not an, an option. Ingredient. Buon appetito. Grazie. Oh, che wow. carino. John, che carino. Che fuori. carino. It's so beautiful out here. Dollar pizza addict because I'm a dollar pizza addict. And what does it say in the back? Subscribe. That's how you find John. Subscribe. Here bar. Allora, siamo arrivati alla seconda location. Vediamo cosa ne pensa John. Ovviamente questo è un posto completamente diverso dall'altro. A parte che abbiamo una festicciona messicana qua nel giardino vicino. Pizza napoletana fatta da un milanese. John, cosa ne pensi? What do I think? Yeah. I think... Parla italiano, da domani parla italiano. I speak a little Italian, I understand. I think it looks amazing. I mean, just seeing all of those ingredients out there and what I think is so special about Neapolitan pizza is how simple it is and so good. So I'm, I'm ready for this. Okay, buon appetito. Buon appetito. Vai, prendine un pezzo. All right, let's do it. Prendine un pezzo. Like, prendi a what? So we, yeah, we yeah. Do, are we doing this New York style? New Yorkese reagisce a due pizze a Brooklyn. Ma John, cosa fai? Dove sono le posate? What do I think? No, where are you? Oh, my fucking nuts. I'm too New York for her. I'm too, I'm too no, New no, York no, for no, her. No, 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 you're perfect. I'm perfect. But this is an Italian spot. Okay. Okay. I'll try your way. I'll try your way. <laughs> no, no, no. This is all. so strange for me. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so fun for me. No, no the, the knife has to be on your right. Okay. Okay, mom. Okay, ready? Look at me. Put the knife down, fork down. Da na na, da na 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 na. This is like a little kid show. <laughs> I'm the worst guest in history. <laughs> this is why I don't use fork and knives. There first. you go. <laughs> He's that's like, why, that's why pizza is democratic. Pizza is nah. democratic. I'm gonna get the worst comments from your viewers. Look at this guy. You might, you might send me back to my old ways. Mozzarella bonita. Mm. You know what I appreciate about the traditional style of pizza? Mm -hmm. You know, what I have seen with the New York, the American styles, is they're really big on just putting a lot of spices and trying to bring so many flavors mm -hmm. together. Yeah. I think this this type of pizza, it speaks for itself, honestly. It's just in its simplicity and the freshness of its ingredients, they don't have to do anything extra. Like, it's, it's really perfect the way it is. Yeah, I and I like the two different styles of pizza. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it could also depend on what kind of mood you're in, too. Mm -hmm. Like this is an amazing place to come to get real Italian pizza in an environment like this. If I'm with my wife on a date, perfect. And if you want something quick to go, you go to Defaras. It's like the best of both worlds in New York. That's why this city is so amazing. Stiamo parlando delle differenze dei due posti e John ha appena detto che questo è un classico spot italiano con pizza italiana. L'altro è più italo-americano e anche per una date. I don't even know how to say that in Italian. Sito in spagnolo. <laughs> per una cita in spagnol perché sua moglie è messicana messicana my wife is mexican yes per una cena romantica pizza numero 2 Luca ci fa provare la Laura e perché si chiama così? perché è il nome di mia moglie vivere a New York adesso proviamo la pizza di nome Laura dedicata alla mia amica Laura sopra la pizza c'è speck rosmarino mascarpone cheese that you make uh, tiramisu with Okay. Mozzarella. What's this on top? The purple. Yeah, speck. S speck. What is speck? It's a kind of meat. Okay. It's like it's a. Cured. It's, it's mm -hmm. pork. Yeah. Okay. Buona pizza. Buona pizza. Sorry, but I'm taking the fork and knife off my plate. Ay! <laughs> Sorry to your viewers, but no, yeah, it's that's okay. How, that's how I do it. I like to mix. You just mix and match, okay? Whatever I feel. I need to get some of this. Yeah, speck. yeah. It's all for you. See, guys. Speck. With this one, I'm just gonna. Just going for it. Mm. What type of cheese did you say this was? There are two types of cheese, mm -hmm. mozzarella and mascarpone. Okay, that is a real difference maker here. I mean, I like the last one if I'm in the traditional, but I think I like this better because this is like a, a different type of cheese that I've maybe never had before on pizza. Mm -mm. I don't think I've ever had a pizza quite like this one. You don't usually get mascarpone on pizza. Mm -hmm. It's rare. I wish I had a pizza named after me. La Barrio Pizza. La Barrio Pizza. I think my, my American um, obsession with having so many flavors and tastes is kicking in here. Mm. Because, you know, having the, the cheese that I've never had before and then this speck, excellent. Mm -hmm. This is probably what I would order if I came back here for sure. It's a nice combination of things. I had a feeling you would enjoy this one better than the margarita. Mm -hmm. John, che parole in italiano hai imparato oggi? Um, okay. I don't know what you said. The chip tra I, I'm trying to cheat. How do, you, was it how, how do you say in Italian something? Was that it? Che par- Hey! Cheater, non suggerire cheater. tu là dietro no, qui dietro ci abbiamo i suggeritori che parole in italiano hai imparato? no capisci, no comprendo I asked you what Italian words you learned buonissima for pizza because it's feminine bravo cin cin uh, I've known grazie. 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 And he said a word that I, I just forgot. It was ready. What was the word for when he said the pizza was ready? Pronta. Pronta. Oh, pronto. 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 We say è pronto in general. Something's yeah. ready. Pronta if it's feminine. Pronta. I think New York is such a, a fantastic place in general for food, but for pizza, it's next level. I mean, yeah, you could go to Naples and have the best traditional pizza on earth. But I don't think you could go to Naples and find all the styles of pizza we have in New York. Because in New York, we could find Neapolitan, we could find Detroit, Chicago, New York. You could find every style of pizza here. I think it might be a little tougher. I don't, hope, don't know if I'm wrong, but I feel like New York is just, in a way, the ultimate pizza city. Whatever you want, you can find here. Do you agree? I have to agree, and I'm sure a lot of them are going to hate me for this. 
but almost every city I travel to, I want to try their pizza. And I found very disgusting pizza around the world. It's really, really hard to find good, authentic Italian pizza. But I think New York City not only has good, authentic Italian, it also has good, authentic, as you said, Chicago pizza, New York style, uh, Detroit. So, like and, America. And dollar slices too, if you don't have any money. Slices. You, you, you know, you just want to get something quick. Ve lo dico in italiano. Ho fatto a proposito un video su come vivere una giornata a New York con 10 dollari Ve lo lascio qua sopra, guardatelo Allora, questo vlog è finito Spero che vi siate divertiti, che vi sia piaciuta questa versione di vlog New Yorkese che prova e reagisce a due pizze italiane a Brooklyn What do you think about this experience? I thought it was amazing to go to two places that I've never been to before Both that do their own style and to be absolutely blown away by how delicious and good they each were This was like a, a true New York kind of afternoon. That's true, I like it. Ti è piaciuto questo pomeriggio new yorkese? Ha provato due pizze nuove, due pizze completamente diverse. John, where can they find you? Yeah, so I'm all over. YouTube is my big platform here, B Bar, but also Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. I'm sure she's putting all my links down below. Check me out, come say hi. Ti aspettiamo a New York. Per oggi da Chiari Lady Boss a New York è tutto. Fatemi sapere nei commenti se volete altri video del genere e iscrivetevi al canale se non l'avete ancora fatto. Bye! Bye. Guardiamo! Eh.